There is an easy way to quickly improve your 3D skills, in fact, any skills. It's a simple formula of more, better, new. Let's dive in. So here's a short story that relates to what I'm about to tell you. Back in my photography days, I came up with an idea that I would use only one focal length for all images, so one lens. I specialized in portraits, but also enjoyed street photography, architecture, and so on. So one day, I mounted my 1.485mm lens on the camera and kept it for nearly four years. And an interesting thing happened. The more I worked with that one lens, the more intuitively I could frame an image without even looking through the camera viewfinder. I knew that focal length so well, I could literally see framed images when standing in front of a model or a building. So now how does this relate to more bats I knew? See, there are three simple steps that can massively boost your skills and speed up the learning process. Number one is do more of what you're already doing. Number two is do it better. And number three is do new things. So let's start with do more. Let's say you want to learn Blender hard surface. And by the way, if you do, we have a fantastic free course for you called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will teach you all the fundamentals of Blender and guide you through the complete process of creating your first hard surface model. The course is free and the link is in the video description. So now to learn Blender, all you need to do is do more. What does it mean? Watch more videos, take more courses, practice more, challenge yourself more, and stay more immersed in the 3D world. The volume of your activities will push you faster towards mastery. The number one mistake that people make is the result of their weaknesses, a lack of endurance and focus. Most people start something, but they lack the character to persevere. It's easy to start learning something since you know absolutely nothing. You'll be learning very fast, but then things slow down and then that's where people crumble and fail. So the trick to success here is to do more of the things that you're already doing and stay focused. Now, do more does not mean do everything you think it's cool. That's a distraction. This is another mistake people make. They try to grab so many things at once because they get bored or simply hit a wall during their studies and give up. If you grab too many birds at once, some of them will escape. Speaking from personal experience, I'd not recommend holding more than 14 birds at once. Now, focus on the so what I need you to do is focus on one thing, do more of that, and you'll be fine. Now do better. This is crucial, okay? Let's say you are persistent and focused. Great. But without a challenge, you won't grow. So if you want to get really good at Blender, or anything, really, you need to embrace pain. Pain breeds anger. Anger breeds push, and push breeds success. Get pissed off that you can't do something, and spend as much time as you need to find a solution. Before we launched the Game Asset course with Josh, we had zero clues about game assets. The same goes to trim sheets. It took us months of studies, research, trial and error to master it. But we did it. We simply didn't stop till we knew how and why. Only then we were ready to teach others. So instead of giving up, we got motivated and challenged. Now another aspect of do better is self-improvement. Always move forward, never stay stagnant. If you go to the gym and do the same exercises with the same weights every time, you will stay fit but you won't grow. Muscles need to be shocked, abused and ripped. That's how you stimulate growth. You need to push harder all the time, not just once. So try doing what you're doing but better. Improve in areas you suck at. If you're good at modeling, improve rendering. If you're great with texturing, then double down on creating better designs, etc. There's always something to improve on. So, you're doing more and you're doing better. Great, now it's time to make new. This is when you're confident and well-versed in one thing and you're ready to expand your knowledge to a new platform or a new set of skills. You could learn animation, rigging, ZBrush, plasticity, whatever. However, if you do that too early, so before you've done the more and the better, then you'll jump the gun and won't be good at anything. This is super important. You're not a grasshopper, so sit down and master one thing, then move on to a new area. So to recap, once you find out what you want to learn, do more of that. We know that volume is great, but it's not good enough. The next step is do better. So improve your techniques, challenge yourself, etc. Lastly, once you've mastered the subject, it's time to do new things. Follow this approach and you'll be able to succeed at anything. Best of luck to you.